السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, I wish that you are having uh, a happy and prosperous life wherever you are whenever you are inshallah on this planet at this very difficult time globally which is affecting tens and tens of millions of people who are suffering from conflict and from deprivation Today, inshallah, we'll be talking about a very difficult subject. Sometimes it's confusing, the difference between system and program, or manhaj, which could be system and program. I know sometimes I'm discussing with you difficult issues, but my aim is not only to go with the trend, to get people to listen and like, but to go with the thing which stays with us, to enable us to make a system and to make a program and to make a change. What is the relationship between the system, which I call it in Arabic manhaj, the program, which is the activity, and the amorphous, amorphous, or the idiot, the highly educated but still idiot, because he does not realize or she does not realize what's happening around them. Let us talk about some of actually definitions that I have myself put, maybe taking some time of your time, but we'll go with it through it slowly. System for me or manhaj is the space that contains the program, okay? Where such program will work according to the mechanism policy and procedure of the bigger system, the manhaj, kabir, both of which will accordingly synchronize with one another and with the system managing the cycles of life on the planet. Synchronization is the most important thing that we have to create between the program, the local system, and the global system. The program, the local manhaj, and the global manhaj. Clear? Some more definition of the system. It is the necessity basic foundation of building community. Necessity basic foundation of building community. What is the purpose of this community? Community that makes the change amongst working citizens who are establishing communities, renaissance, to create its civilization. System should lead to renaissance and building civilization. It's also the engineering system drawing courses of direction to social services needed by everyone. So it is a basic foundation, it is engineering system drawing the courses of action, it's also the commonly known culture of every citizen in our society. Space, basic foundation, engineering system, commonly known culture. Moral definition of mind is values, habits, tradition, okay, which is building the character of the citizen. It's values, habits, and tradition that build the character or the characteristic of the character of the citizen in himself or herself. It's also the deeply established faith and the belief in the citizen's heart. It's in, embedded as faith and beliefs. Okay? It's cross-generation sacrifices. By whom? You have to remember the legends <coughs> of our society and community in the history book that actually sacrificed their life, their time, their uh, money to build the state, to build the society, to build the country, to build the nation. It's cross-generation sacrifices paid by community leaders. It's natural thought that many people forget to establish. So natural, so simple, but we forget to do it. We take, it, we take things for granted. It's also structure. Going back again, it is a structure while the program considered to be activities. 
Program is activities, system is structure. Okay? It is a structure while the program is considered to be the activities implemented inside such a structure, which is the manage or the system, to enable the stable community to build its renaissance and establish its civilization. I hope that I gave you a lot of definitions. Some, some of my young uh, brothers and sisters tell me don't bore people with this, but use it to create your own system. What is, this is some other definitions about what is the state, the government, and the abode, which is the country or the nation. The state is the structure inside our country, a structure that hold the country, hold the abode together, hold the community together. The government is the servant. The government, whether it's the prime minister, whether it's a minister, whether it's a king or a queen or a prince or princess or sheikh or amir, whatever you call them, they are the serving, the serving servant of each citizen in the community. They are the real civil servant. The kingship is given to them to serve. If they don't serve, kingship should be taken from them. The presidency is giving them to share to serve. If they don't serve and become servant, should be taken out of them. And so on. So this is the government. The abud is a dwelling. You go back home. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Okay? And who is the citizen? The citizen for me, I can confirm it and affirm it and fight for it. The, the citizen is the real master of the state. Not only the state, of the government. Not only the government, of the abode. You are the real master, the real king of our state, of our government, of our abode, or country, or niche, whatever you call it, is the citizen. Where Allah Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many, many thousands, thousands of messengers and prophets to teach such an individual and make him the master of humanity. Okay, uh, in Arabic language, uh, it's called the clear road, it's called determining course of action to achieve our goals, it's called the structured plan, it's called the educational program, it's called the cultural belief, it's called theological legislation, Theological and legislation, the, 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 theological and legislation, leg, and legislation. It's called the preparation. It's called laying out. It's the core of the subject. It is obeying and protecting the law. It is collective of connecting principles to complete the job. All these are definition of system and manage and programs. What's the program now? What's the program? In education, the program will be. Uh, the, an education could be manage. Yeah. Yani sometimes they use the word manage or the word program together. In party, it's, it's the events of the party will start at 9 o'clock. So and so will speak, so and so will dance, so and so will say poetry, so and so will lecture, and so on. The time for the food and time for the drink, and so on. In organization, it's the plan. In your day to day uh, work, is your missions during the day. In a political party is the official statement of the party. These are all the definition of actually a program and of a system and of manhaj and, 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 and. I took these 10 minutes from your time to refresh my, my memory and our memory to understand, especially myself, how difficult it could become confused about program, about system, about course of action and all these sort of things. Let us look at this pyramid, which is how can we build manhaj or system to create citizen characteristics? How can we build a manhaj or system to create citizens characteristics? First point at the bottom, at the foundation of this pyramid is the family. Your wife, your husband, 
and your relatives, your in-laws, and so on. This family will lay the basic foundation of creating the character of the citizen or the system inside your son and daughter. The way you bring your children up, the way you send them to school to learn, the way you treat them, the way you choose your wife, and the way you choose your husband. The way you choose your wife, and the way you choose your husband. And what you teach them at home beside the school. Second character, and second most important after the family itself, is the teacher. Do we respect our teacher or not? Do you remember the, a movie in the 60s called To Sail With Love, Sidney Poitier? was an African teacher in one of these uh, uh, low social class area in London. Where actually the, the, the young boys and girls or young students were actually having a go at him because of the uh, 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 racial differences between both of them. Do we respect our teacher? Does the government respect the teacher? Does the state value the teacher? Does the community value the teacher or not? If we don't value the teacher, we are going to have a faulty system inside the hearts and the minds of our children when they grow up. The value of our education and institution as well. Do we respect it? Do we respect the school, the institute, the college, the university? Or not? Do we respect knowledge? Do we respect the educational system or not? This is very important. Okay, then after that, how, what, what, our commitment as a state, our commitment as a government, our commitment as a community to be seen inside the hearts of the community leaders and bureaucrats and government officers and people in the high offices such as presidents or prime ministers or uh, uh, ministers and, and, and directors and so on and so on. Respect. The issue of respect is to be cross-cutting. Should be cross-cutting from the mother and the father and grandma and grandpa to the... to whom? To the prime minister and the president themselves. Respect, loyalty. Loyalty to what? Loyalty to your family, to your teacher, to your institution, to your community, to your country, to your humanity. We have to be, we have to have this kind of loyalty to humanity. Loyalty to our country. I will have a, I will have a say of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who, who died defending his country is a martyr, who died defending his family is a martyr, who died defending uh, her uh, uh, wealth is a martyr, and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Whether it's a male or female. Loyalty, uh, community values. We have to put inside the individual, the child, is the values in our community. National culture was our culture, and this will create for us the characteristics of the character of our children when they grow up to be uh, 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 to build the minhaj inside them. So the minhaj or the system inside the hearts and the minds of our children will go from the family to the teacher, education, institution, commitment, respect, loyalty, values, and culture as well. This pyramid is talking about how can we make the program, the education program, which make the change. How can we create the educational program which can make the change. The program is inside the system, is inside the manhaj itself. Okay, as I said, there should be the man the, the, the system and the program should synchronize together as well as synchronize with the global program that God has put for humanity to manage the life on earth. First of all, for our children in the educational program, we have to give them the learning ability to learn. Learn for what? After learning, to gain the knowledge, not to get a certificate, 
Quite often, we teach our children to pass the exam without knowing why you should pass the exam to do what. We do not explain to them what, we, what do we mean by knowledge. Is knowledge only written in the textbook or the broader knowledge? Learning ability and the ability of knowing the right knowledge to benefit the child while he or she are learning and to know what's in the surrounding, to be interactive, interacting with that. Third one in this program, which is change making educational program, is let the child to be able to think. To be able to think. Tell him or her, think. Tell him or her, produce ideas. Think. Think. Do not speak before thinking. Learning, knowing, then thinking. Then to explore. Once you think where to go, you explore the surroundings. Then you start extracting from what you have been learning. Okay, what you have been knowing. What you have been thinking about. Extracting. Extracting what? Extracting the information which, can, which afterward you can analyze it. You cannot start jumping on analysis without being able to learn, know, think, explore, and extract. You see, it's a process. Up, 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 up. Learning, knowing, thinking, exploration, extraction, analysis. Analysis of the data you have. It's the most difficult thing in the data you have when you write your master or your, uh, or your PhD thesis is how can you analyze your result. Okay, then once you analyze the results, you start to shape your thoughts. Okay, you have an idea, you crystallize it, become crystal clear for you. After becoming crystal clear for you, you have your conclusion. This is the outcome. I went through this process to have a conclusion to put my theory and to change the theory into laws and basis for life. And this will make the change. Learning, knowing, thinking, exploration, extraction, analysis, shaping our thoughts, a conclusion, theories, and creating the laws and making the change. If you make the change, we have to go to this process. The system or the manage inside this program has to synchronize with other manhaj and other system in the society, as well as with the global system that Allah wants to have, or Allah is actually uh, uh, putting to manage humanity, to manage life on earth. This is how the state making an empowerment program. If, if our state is, is happy or want to empower citizens, what shall they do? We start from who are we living where? We live in this piece of a desert land or a mountain or a village or whatever you call it. Then we look at who lives there, the people, which is us, me and you and every one of us. Then we look at, I think there's a, a mistake here, human capability comes before freedom. We look at inside the people, there's a human capability. Okay, look at what is our human resources look like. Are we very good in uh, living in the middle of the desert? So our, our, our human resources based on the desert culture or the living next to the sea become fishermen and women or living in an in, in a, in a agricultural area, become farmers or one does so human resources. Then the most important thing after human resources is the freedom. Are we free or not? Can I see uh, uh, the right? Because I think you, 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 this is uh, 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 making the state institution, independent state institution, after discovering the capability, then freedom will be there. Okay? 
then once we are f having the freedom and building the state institution, we should actually lay down the laws and legislation Uh, putting the system, building civil society organization, building government organization, creating loyalty, moral values, culture, manners, empowerment, and so on and so on. Can I have, uh, but there's some mistakes here. I think we should actually go from geographical area into people, into human capability, Okay? Into independent state institution, freedom, geographical location, people, human capability. A uh, system has to come first. There's a mistake here. System, then freedom after the system. Let me say it again. Geographical location, people, people, human capability, system, freedom. Okay. Then, Putting the laws and legislation, okay? Then independent state institution, then civil society organization, then government organization. Geographical location, people, human capability, uh, system, freedom, uh, laws and legislation, uh, independent state institution, uh, civil society organization, then or government organization. After that, we put the moral values, loyalty, moral values, culture, manner, empowerment, and ownership. It has to go bottom up. And the most important thing in the bottom up here is the independent state institution and the freedom of the people which make them to be safe living inside their own country. What is this? This people can look at it as merry-go-round, as we know it in the circus. But we look, when we look at it, we find that it is made out of five colors, consistent at the corners here, consistent repeatedly here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and so on, and in the border here. So. The system or manhaj in the periphery, in the bigger picture, is uh, synchronizing with the system controlling the program of this machine. Even the lights coming from here is the same five colors. Okay, So this synchronization is extremely important for all of us when we uh, create programs inside the system, inside the bigger system. What do you see out of this uh, image? We see the five colors, which we have seen it in the previous one here. One, two, three, four, five. It's here in the bigger uh, program. Uh, it's a system here. One, two, three, four, five. But we do not see the consistency here. So we might be in a country which does not have any identity because the state is confused between socialism, communism, capitalism, liberalism, Islamism, whatever you call it. So there is no proper synchronization between the system inside the program and the system in the country itself. In the educational system, you might, send, you might teach your child in the, in, at home something which is contradicting what they learn in the kindergarten, or contradicting what's learned or taught in the primary school and secondary school, and so on, so on, so on. And this is very serious, that actually you teach the child something which does not match, 
or the state or the school give something which does not match the value of the society. Other thing is, you might find that every now and then, the Ministry of Education or the state keep changing the syllabus, keep changing the program, and changing the system within the program. So, when we don't have a proper uh, system and proper synchronization between uh, the program, the system of the program, and the global system and the national system, this is what we will see happening to our children. We will produce children like this. They might have the best education, but no character, no value in life. That's why we call it the amorphous. Now, this amorphous can be a PhD man. When you look at the, the, the social media now, you find the statement coming from people who's PhD, who's master, with all this kind, they call them that the elite club, which means nothing to society. Okay? Shapeless, valueless, weightless, and colorless. And this is where you do not shape the pro system of the program of education or economy or culture inside the country to match one another and to be according to the values and the culture and the belief of the country. This is what we have a lot of this in government offices. We have a lot of this teaching in the universities. We have a lot of this talking on talk show, on television and radio. We have a lot of them everywhere because we do not have a proper system to create the individual who will be loyal to his or her own country. When you look at this program here, we find this more organized than the five colors here are the same five colors here. And all of them going in the same direction from the family to the kindergarten, to the primary school, to the secondary school, to the university, to the institution, two, 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 two. So all of them going in one direction. If you have a gearbox, which does not synchronize with the, with the engine of the car, the car does not go anywhere. If you have a gearbox which is messy, the car will not, will not go anywhere. You see? That's why, actually, we need to make this kind of synchronization between our national system, which is based on our values, culture, history, and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. This should be going into the education, it should go into the culture, it should go into the arts, it should be going into the synchronizing uh, with, the, with, the, with the system inside the arts and, and, and so on in, in, the, in the drama uh, uh, in, the, in, in, in the politics uh, in the economy in, in the foreign policy and everything okay and this when we have these systems which we put all our values into it that's what we see when we build our, the character of our uh, younger to become loyal to the country those people, they could be looked as farmers, they could be looked as workers, but you know who are they? A young girl, a grown-up man, and a, a, a woman, which could be a mother of them, or could be another woman. So they knew very well where to go, what to do. It doesn't matter who are they, whether they are farmers, whether they are laborers, whether they are a, a, a fishermen or women, and what, what doesn't make any difference. They don't have to be a PhD uh, graduate. They don't have to be doctors and professors and engineers. No, they can be the people who have the character and the value because we brought them according to the need of the country, because to the need of the society, because according to the need of humanity. And do it through their upbringing to enable them uh, to, to grow within a system that's synchronizing with other systems in the country as well as the global system. At the end of the day, this is our society, which you can look at here. Okay? Going to one direction, to build our country, to strengthen our state, and to synchronize in the system with the global system, with the moon here, guiding them to, to walk at night, with the star guiding them, and so on and so on. So when we look at all these uh, 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 systems that need to be created 
you have to realize that you do not create a system to contradict the system that Allah has created to maintain humanity living on earth, on the planet, by spoiling. Zulm or oppression is the most wicked tool that destroy the local system and will never synchronize with the system of God. Pollution, which leads to many catastrophes globally, whether desertification in Africa, and Latin America, and Asia, or anywhere else. Conflict, which leads to destruction, displacement, refugees, torture, death, injury, and suffering, and raping the young boys and the girls and the all this does not do not synchronize with the system that Allah has created and want you to build your program and build the system of the program to synchronize with the global system that Allah has. I thank you very much and sorry for the miss uh, information in one of the slides. But I hope that uh, we have learned together. And if you want any more uh, uh, clarification, you can uh, write to me on the Facebook or on the Twitter or in the YouTube. Uh, I'll see you, inshallah, next week. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.